Hello there. Why are you here? We are back with more Banner Lord. Last time we had um, a few crashes, and one specifically at the end of the episode, which was very fun. We are here at part 10. It's going to be a long part, as you can already tell. And hopefully we can get stuff done. Our goal for this part is we're going to try to hit tier 3, which that's reasonable. Hitting tier 3 within the time should be reasonable. What may not happen, but I'm going to aim towards, is tier 4. If we get tier 4, we can make a kingdom, and we can start doing all that fun business. Problem is, we still need to talk to two people. So, while we're trying to get the Renown up to get to tier 4, we're also going to try to find two people we can talk to for that. Now, thanks to that crash... Um, yeah, we got slingshotted a fair bit of the way, and if I recall, war was declared, and I'm pretty sure that war is no longer currently going. It is not. So, that will happen in a bit, at some point, because uh, that's how this game works. But before we do anything, just, I have to, because I have to. And we're going to just immediately start heading towards uh, Validian land anyway. Just because I have a feeling it's just going to start up again anyway. So we're going to just go here. This doesn't work anymore. It used to just slingshot you back to right where you were, but now don't. You got to do that now. I don't know why, but that's just the case. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, strap in. This is going to be a long one. Probably not a whole lot of interesting things are going to happen, as usual. You know, that's how it goes. But we're, we're just going to enjoy our renowned grind as we slowly, slowly make an impact on the world, but not really, because it really has no impact. You think it would, but it doesn't. Ah, okay, so we have to talk to someone. Right, 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 right. Now I remember. Yeah, we need to talk to the prince here. He was one of the people we can talk to. We talked to him last time. And, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, hi. Yes, tell me about Guy. Uh-huh. Thanks. Okay. Now then. And we're going to allow my paranoia to just be my paranoia. Because of all the things in the world I hate, I hate having my time wasted. Now, that may sound a little weird, considering um, I'm making these extremely long videos, but I don't consider that a waste of my time. I actually enjoy my time. I don't like rolling back, however, and doing the same things over and over again, because things don't work like they're supposed to. That irritates me. Just doing that so that goes away. I hate notifications at the bottom. Uh, more things that I just uh, hate for no reason. There you go. I'll have reasons, but you know. This irrational hatred. That is a lot of looters. We can't put that... We, we can't. I can't ignore that. Please let us fight. There's so many of you. Awesome. Excellent. Allow me to, to cope here. The game has been mean to me recently. I I wanna I wanna uh, ho uh, just go ahead and and haul off and 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 bully some uh, poor innocent looters. Uh, formation of everybody does not matter. This is um, game. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank thank you. This is just therapy. Leave me alone. Let me have my fun. Oh, boy. Where do I want to park? This will be fine. Alright. It's a good bow. <laughs> I, I miss by very little. It's fun. That's 
another perk point that we need. As I pull the peasants. Eh, you're coming in a little too quickly. <laughs> you see how far offside it goes because I'm just shooting directly behind me? It's ridiculous. Like, I get it, but come on. Why is it? Why does it stray so much? Okay, even I'm getting tired of this. Why did I thrust? I didn't want that. I want circle strips. This is how you beat everyone. I'm not even circle strips, you're just kind of going to the side and it's working. The only reason we can do this is because they're, you know, weapons don't reach. That's all. That <laughs> little tree stopped here. And then they go. Can I actually keep up with them now? No, I can't. I'm still too slow. Oh well. Let's just take some pot shots at them. Call it. Yeah, see how far it goes now? They go far. And they don't have to really correct much at all, because he goes so far. I love these. this bow, it's really good. You just let them do the work and go into it, honestly. Let's try to get some long shots off. Nah, that actually went further than they were. See? There it goes far. And you don't have to correct all too much, but now they're way too out there. It was close, actually. Ignore me, I'm just being a, uh, the, 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 the bastard Bolton real quick and trying to... That was, that land right near his feet, though. You gotta admit, that was close. Alright. That was fun. I killed 14 men. We're getting there. Got a lot of bow levels. That's good. We need more of those. Okay. It, <laughs> it keeps freezing up and it keeps scaring me. Um, We can just take everything because everybody's leveled up. Thank God. We're there. We're at that point. Now, every party that we take out, we just get, gather all the loot. And when we get more boys, we just toss it all out and level everybody up. And it's, it will just, it will maintain itself so much easier than the road to get where we were. Uh, we want rapid fire. Speed is key. And yes, I am saving again. I told you, I'm paranoid. Now that the game has decided to start crashing, um, it's going to keep crashing. Because this is just one of those things. Is is If it gets to a point where it's like, oh, well, there's too much information going on in the save. It just cannot handle it, and it collapses in on itself. And that's all there is to it. It's annoying. It's obnoxious. This game's a huge um, memory sink as it is. And there's just nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think this runs off Unity? I think. I'm not sure. If I'm wrong on that, go ahead, call me out and say, well, no, it's not because it runs on this. This is the engine. You're stupid. By all means, call me out. I think it runs on Unity, though. And Unity isn't too bad. Um... The problem with that is uh, you have to make it work. And uh, to make Unity work, you have to work. And like I'm not a programmer, and that's kind of coming out of my own ass. And it's like, oh, well, they don't put any work in it. Like, I get it. But what I mean by this is that Unity gets a lot of shit it doesn't deserve. Because a lot of people make just bad stuff with it or subpar stuff and that's not necessarily the engine's problem it's uh putting too much on the engine and expecting it to just work like one of my 
this might sound weird, but one of my favorite cars of all time, like if, if I had a dream car and had to pick what my dream car was, this is going to sound weird, but it is a checkered marathon. Like, I know a lot of people would be like, oh yeah, I, I like a Corvette or or uh, uh, a Firebird or a uh, Dodge Char Charger or what, you know, muscle cars and stuff like that. Me? It is a checker marathon. It is the taxis, the the the, the um, old fashioned like uh, uh, New York taxi taxis, like those. That's what I would say is my dream car, and the reason for that is because they're just reliable bottom heavy tanks. That's it. They're just they're just solid cars, and they just work. Now. This isn't to say that they all work or whatever, but the base design works specifically just as much as you want it to work. And why am I talking this when I'm talking about engines is because you could make a checkered marathon into a muscle car, essentially. Like if you sat there and took the time, you 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 gave it a um, V8 or V V16 engine, something crazy like that, with 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 a supercharger, or whatever, and like you really sat there and made it into a hot rod. You could do that, and it would work, and you could soup up a lot of cars and stuff like that. The problem is, if you don't know what you're doing, it's gonna blow up. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, you can do a lot with Unity as an engine, and you can make a ton of different games. Tons of games that work in various specific ways. And the moment you get something like this, that's very power-hungry and very ambitious, and it's trying to do all the stuff that it's trying to do, because to give this game credit, it is calculating a lot. It has a lot going on in the background. But if you don't take the time to set that up just so, it's going to blow up in your and that is what the game's issues are. Is there's a lot going on, and there is not a lot of refining going on to make it work just so. That's like the big issues going on. So, that's why we're talking about uh, cars. Um, just whacking the things. But, yeah, no. So, the moment this game just starts crashing. You can just expect it to crash consistently because the save is just, it just can't handle it anymore. It's done. Can I, can I catch up to, I still can't. I'm still too slow. Oh, that's miserable. We don't need that many athletic levels to catch up with them while we're armored and stuff, but we definitely do need some more. That's too high. It's going to be a minute until I get used to the uh, Noble Bow again. Because it's very accurate and it goes as far as it does. And I have to acclimate myself to what good is. Because you acclimate yourself to what bad is for so long that it, it just, yeah. But we got it, it's fine. This is just a lot of grinding leveling up. This, that's what this episode's going to be, and that's all there is to it. And me uh, talking nonsensically for, like, three hours or so. It's fine. You guys know the deal already. I'm kind of surprised that war hasn't been um, declared. Because normally that stuff is, like, set in stone. And the game doesn't care. And it's like, nah, this is going to happen at predetermined time. I have no idea what shifted that balance, but it did, apparently. Um, we want mules. Yeah. They have lots of them. How many do I have? I have, well, we don't actually need them. Huh. I just figured we'd want more. Because I just figured we'd want more. What's my speed? I want trade levels too, so ignore me real quick. We're just gonna knock this out. Yeah, we'll do that. If they declare war with us, 
while I'm doing this. That's really gonna suck, but it's fine. Ooh, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Hi. I actually like this guy too. There's a few NPCs, like you don't they don't get much character. But the amount of character they do get is is enough for me to be like, I like this guy, or yeah, this guy screw him. Um, so we're done with that. And now we just have to talk to these two. Um, we can do that while we wait. And yes, I am saving the game again. I have to. Um, so yeah, no. We'll we'll pawn off these these mules, try to get uh as much uh trading levels as we can from it. And we'll go ahead and knock those out. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure you get a bit of renown for doing quests as well. These the, the, the main scenario quests as well. I could be wrong, but it's fine. We only need 70 renown to hit three. Hitting three is going to be a big push, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Also, I still need to keep track of. Uh, if there's a companion, or specifically a a, um, a a sturgeon companion, that will uh, help us. That would be just great. Yeah, five skill points of trade. That's good. That's good. Skill points of skill points. Um. Yeah, no, we, we, st we still need to find that companion. And they're not moving between the uh, settlements. So I think something wigged out, and they just cannot travel anymore or something. Because um, this game is good, and it does stuff like that. So we're going to just have to hope and pray that we come across one on our merry little journey here. Uh, I think we want Caravan Master. <sighs> this is actually a really tricky one. Because this will increase... I'm going to do Caravan Master. Okay, because Market Dealer would be good if I was really relying on my... Um, what you call it? Workshops? Because workshops do give you a fair bit. But we're already at the point where if I'm relying on that, it's not going to help. So I would rather have the carry away. That should have bumped it. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, yes, it did. Because we're at like uh, 13k at carry away. And it just went up to 17, almost 18k. Yes, yes, yes. We want carry away. Most of our income's um, going to come from the, the bulk of making... Uh, smithing stuff anyway speaking of how's everybody doing we're all fine and dandy that's nice um do we have any stamina not really i'll hold off for now um i do have a two-hander on me yes and it might have been a while or long enough, rather, that we can get some of these. Just to make sure that we have a decent supply of... Actually, that's not enough. <laughs> so I'm not going to bother. It's not enough. It is not sufficient enough for me to care. Uh, we have to talk to this man. Yes. Hi. 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 Yeah, so the whole deal with this is that you have this man who dislikes the Empire, and the other uh, person is a woman in Pacria, whatever the place is called, and she's for the Empire. And the banner piece we got at the very beginning of the game is the Dragon Banner, which is like the symbol of the Emperor. Essentially. And it's one of those things like, if you have it, you are destined to be blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Uh, if you have any understanding of it, 
um, or knowledge of like historically or what they say, the Im- uh, imperial seal from uh, uh, in China from the uh, dynastic uh, time period is very similar in a sense that um, the whole thing with the imperial seal was I'm not sure if this is like super historically a- accurate or uh, uh, historical fiction or what have you um, like the, the, the Three Kingdoms novelization I'm not sure how I haven't looked that deep into it but the idea was that if you had the imperial seal that was essentially like divine right to proclaim yourself emperor or something along those lines so the dragon banner kind of works on the same principle as the fact that if you have this banner you are destined to be at least important if not uh, um, the the emperor so the idea is uh if you agree with this guy to destroy the empire you or one of the anti-empire kingdoms will rise to power if you want to support the empire you support the empire blah 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 or become the new emperor and that's the deal so they they say either a like this guy says down with the empire and wants you to destroy the empire and do that by giving the banner to uh, another king or what have you and giving them your support or doing it yourself and the woman wants you to restore the empire to its former glory by giving the banner to one of the three self-proclaimed emperors uh well two emperors one empress or yourself to say i am the new emperor that's the whole deal that is it it's not that deep clear selection huh that's a new button we're gonna take the uh, champions here because this is gonna make this hilariously easy. Hilariously easy. As I said, these are like the best foot troops in the game. There's no comparison. There is no comparison. I am sorry. There's. Just... We're gonna put them at fire at will. Get my bow out. They're already fired. Look at these boys go. They're just aimed and yup. Yeah, let's go. I am going to be nowhere near as fast as them on my feet, but it's fine. I don't need to be. Yeah, the, the, the free boot. These guys, these are forest bandits. They turn in to these guys. That, yeah. These are like the, 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 the peasant baby form of these guys. So this they're, they're so outgunned, it's not even funny. This will make this very easy for us. That and the fact that I got a good bow now and good armor and all that stuff. I'm doing terribly right now, but it's fine. But we got all the stuff that we got. It's gonna make this easy as well. We're getting to the point where I need to bump the difficulty up. Just because it's going to be just so unfair to the game. Not that I that I care if the game, uh, you know, believes I'm playing fairly, but... I like some amount of challenge, <laughs> to a degree. Oh, he's got a shield. They gave him a shield. Right! Their, their weapons are drawn now, right? They did that. How how prepared are you for it? Not at all. Yeah, okay, so their weapons are drawn, but their AI still sucks. <laughs> they still sit there in an idle... Whatever. Oh, we made it so that they have their weapons drawn. That's nice. He's still sitting there in idle position, just waiting for the sword slash. Amazing reflexes on that man. And truly. God, he just took it right to the face. Okay. You found the second banner piece. Excellent. Um, is that it for that quest for now? It is. Okay. So now we just go to the other place. It's so rare in a campaign that I get this far that I always forget. Is like, is it just done now? Or do I gotta talk to him again? No. I gotta get the other piece and then talk to him. 
Uh, because I'm tearing the Empire down, I'm not supporting it. If you thought I was uh, going to rebuild the Empire, you have not been paying attention. I give no fucks about the Empire. Uh, so we're going to just walk up to this lady and lie. Essentially. Yeah, you. Hi. Hi. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, she has voice lines. For some reason. It doesn't matter, but she she actually has voice lines. Um, yeah, I'm gonna help the Empire, sure. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know why you guys bothered to get that voice acted. Um, no one cares about this game story. I mean, there might be some people who do, but I'm sorry. It's, it is an RTS, and, man... These kind of games are only suited for certain kinds of nerds, and and it's it all comes down to numbers and stuff like that. If you add the storyline way too late into the game's life cycle, no one cares. I'm sorry, nobody cares. Uh, it might sound harsh, but I don't care. Like, if you want the game to have a storyline that people cared about. Why didn't you have one in the beginning? Most people, if they want a good a game with a good storyline, they write the story first and then they make the game. I'm just saying that's that's it, it, is you, you typically have the the storyline written first, and then you figure out how to make the game around it. I could be wrong, but typically when I when I think about how game development goes, it's guy goes. I want to make a game like this, and I want the story to be like this. Figuring out the story, uh, like writing a good story, it, yes, it can be hard. Coding a game, I feel like it's a lot harder. So it would take a lot longer and way more man hours to make the game than write the damn script for the game. Like, script is part one or three or what you know whatever of a 100 part project like it 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 is not the end all be all part like you know what i mean like <laughs> you do not write the story later if you write the story later my suggestion is just not to have the story because if you just tack it on because oh well we need a story you don't you just need a solid game uh, if, if you want a good to make a vi good video game, just make a good video game. Don't worry about the story. The story isn't going to make a bad video game any better. Like, you want an example of that is Deadly Premonition. That's a horrible game. It is a terrible game. Story is amazing. I love, I love it, but as for a, it fails as a game. Absolutely fails as a game. And it's not something... I think anyone would like the privilege to play, but to watch is an entirely different story. Because what's going on is interesting, but the gameplay is not. And that's all there is to that. It's just bully more peasants. He didn't go down with that. I didn't even hit him. I didn't even hit him. I didn't even hit him. Oh my god, I hate this. This is why I'm like, you want a spear on horseback. Just because, like, you can actually kind of hit them as I hit the ground. As I hit the side. <sighs> He's too close to me. I can't hit him now because I'm hitting the ground. <laughs> the combat in this game has its problems. I'm just, I'm just saying. That's all. Uh... Man, Bo's really jumping. Oh, that those focus points are working. That's that's what that is. They are really shooting up there. Ah, oh, man, deadly premonition. One of my friends uh has want, been wanting to play that for literal just years, but it doesn't work. It doesn't run on PC, and he's tried so many times over every so often he'll get he'll he'll get the gumption up and he'll try to get it to work. Just does not. 
it is such a trip. It is the, like that storyline of that is just so worth the trip to go through. But fuck the gameplay. There's a lot of um, uh, Suda Fifty One games that I, I feel are on the same par with that. Is that the the experience is so worth it? The game is not. Like, I like No More Heroes. I like No More Heroes Two. And like, there's there there's a lot of games that they made, and I like them for the experience, but the game itself sucks. Or if the game doesn't suck, it's mediocre and it's kind of whatever. And like, it, it, it's, <sighs> eh. but the storyline and experience is what makes it, and. There are some games that are just that is just the case where the game isn't that great, but it's worth the experience at least. I'm not gonna kidding. That, cause I'm not gonna uh, lie. That that put the fear of God in me because of how long that took to um, to uh, load for no reason. Uh, we haven't been doing anything different um, than all the stuff that we have been, and that one in particular just took out. This is what I'm talking about. The longer a save goes on, the more fucky it gets. That's this that is just the case, and it's <sighs> I'm really afraid we're not gonna get to the point of which I want to take the series. Just because it's just, uh, something is gonna go wrong. And I've only been able to do, like, the whole thing where, oh, I capture all the feasts. Like, I get all the land. I've only been able to do it once. And the main reason behind that is the game itself fights you on that. Or they make, uh, they, like, they, they patch the game and they break something. And then the save is just, it doesn't work anymore. It's one of those. Also, this game, um has the Skyrim problem um, where you'll do everything but beat the game and that's all there is to it like I have at least like 2,000 something like 2,000 hours in Skyrim and it wasn't until um, like a thousand five hundred hours in, I decided to like actually beat the game because I would do stuff and waste so much time just putzing about with a character or whatever, put it down, and then come back to it and go like, you know what? I want to make a different character. I want to play uh, uh, this kind of build, and then I would do that. Where, like, yes, in Skyrim, yes, you could just make the new build or whatever, blah, 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 and, and use the old character to do what you're planning on doing. I would just start from the beginning again. And make a new character and start over again. And mods would get involved, and then I'd think, ooh, what's this mod do? And I'd try out this mod, and try out that mod, and do this, do that, blah, 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 blah. Before you know it, you haven't even beaten the game, and you haven't bothered to beat the game. Even though you've played it for so long, and you sunk so much time into it, you just haven't beaten it yet. Did they give all these guys shields? Did they give all the gang leaders shields? Did they realize that's what you want for a one-on-one? -on -one? He still couldn't react worth a damn. No, Sick. <laughs> oh, they got their weapons drawn now. Awesome. He still just took it to the face. Okay. Okay. I guess. At least he, he put his sword up, so he, he was going to try to swing. <laughs> this fucking game. Okay. And now we have that. Yes. And... Just letting it do its stuff. You have collected all the pieces, now decide what to do with it. 
Okay. So we're going to head back. That hideout's still there, and that disturbs me, but we're going to ignore that. That should have gotten destroyed. The fact that it's not... <sighs> the game's fucking up, okay? Leave me alone. I'm not bullshitting you. You can... That, that hideout shouldn't exist anymore. I took it down, but it's still there. Why is that the case? Ooh, my brother's got an army. Ooh, bro, coming along. Can I... Is it... It's not this, it's this. Can I look at what he's got? Yes, I can. I hate their numbers a lot. But they're they're up there in rank to a degree. They're all like I think the best he has is tier threes. Maybe some tier fours. Yeah. Yeah, nah, it, it it's He's got bulk. He doesn't have... He, he has, um... Quantity. He does not have quality. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh... Yes. Yes. There's something about that... This that's... That's really fucky, and I can't remember at the moment. It'll come to me when we get there. Um. Okay, so this is our goal now. Is. It is this. So we need to be tier 4. We have the troops. We need to claim independence. So. Essentially, we'll not be mercenaries. Is what this is. And we have to own land. That's the tricky bit. Because we will not... We cannot call an army until we are a kingdom. Which I feel like is an oversight. Or just something to really, really fuck you uh, as, as an independent. Because they don't want you to get ahead. And it only hurts the player for the sake if they want to make their own kingdom. I don't know why they've done this. I feel like if you get to a certain rank or tier and you have the people available, you should just be able to call a goddamn army together. But you have to go through their stupid red tape. And that's all there is to it. Still no war going on. That's problematic for us. If there's no war, we get no renown. And we really have no say otherwise. <clears throat> the Sturgeons are fighting them. The Validians aren't fighting anyone. Empire's fighting Empire. I don't want to live. I don't want to leave my boys this is kind of upsetting uh, how are we on renown right now we're still ways away we haven't gone up at all damn it <laughs> we really need a war to kick up otherwise we're not getting anywhere what we can we do in the meantime we could do blacksmithing we should have some yeah we do have some stamina and just messing with bandits isn't going to help us. Yeah, we need a war to start, and we don't have any say whether or not that happens. Unfortunately, we have no voice in this kingdom. Uh, how are your stocks on stuff and things? Probably not great, because we've been siphoning through most of these lands for a fair bit. Grab those. Grab the arrows. There's really not that many. 
grab the Highlanders. Yeah. And they have hardwood. This is a long part. Y'all can deal with this. We're doing blacksmithing just to kill time. May as well. Um, what are we melting down specifically? It's mostly just the Highlanders and the, the tribesmen, yeah. Yeah. Who is melting what? You guys, you, you'll take care of this. Okay. And Highlanders. The only problem is, like, I want to do more interesting stuff. It's just with what's going on right now in the game. It's just, this is this is basically the best bet for just wasting time and doing something valuable with the time that we have. We still need a new sword. Really badly. What is our overall steel usage? Six. One, two, six. Okay. Do 36. Yeah. Make these. You know what? It's already killing my stamina, so I'm just going to make as much as I can. And then we're going to wait up. Hopefully a war starts. It's a horrible thing to say. I'm just waiting for a war to happen. Terrible. I want the other guys to get experience, but I really want to get to the higher levels of blacksmithing and constantly going, oh, I'll give it to these guys. It's, it's just slowing that down. It's slowing it down way more than it needs to. We have a thousand iron. Look at that. Alright. This... Want that, 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 uh, two hand. Okay. Yes, this affects it as well. That doesn't affect it much. It does affect me. Yeah, I'll just put it all the way up. Just put it all the way up. Just put it all the way up. No. Ooh, I like this card a lot. It's like one of my favorite cards in the game. And it's better. Same materials, but it's better. And we have blacksmithing at 150 now. Alright. Can you make fine steel? You can. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to do this, and these guys can make steel. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. I mean, we've been there for a while, but let's see. We want controlled smith because we really want to focus on our bow. Because that's where most of our primary focus is, is in bow. Yeah, we can get up pretty high. We can probably get about to 200 right now with the, the points and everything where it is in that. The blacksmith level I want is that. I want levels 175. If we can hit 175, we'll be, definitely be making a killing off everything that we make. What are the prices of these lovely swords? 17k a pop or so. Yeah, that's good. Um, We're going to just travel around. 
and go into did they finally move they did ooh okay okay cool I don't know what caused it but maybe it was the season changing I don't know I don't know what caused it I just know they moved okay cool so we're gonna just wander around and see if we can find blacksmithing materials or a companion and it's not too exciting but it's this playthrough you already know the deal that is all there is to it as I continue to drink copious amounts of coffee I should be drinking water with as much as I'm talking but it's fine now they should have I forget <laughs> I already forget which one of these it was I think it was these I think it was the Pugios. I don't know. We'll grab one of each and we'll see. Um, I believe they have tribesmen here. They do. We'll grab the tribesmen. We'll grab the arrows. And pawn off one of the swords. Okay. We're going to see which it is that we want. It's Bukio. So we'll grab the rest of those. They have almost no hardwood, but it's fine. And I'll drop another sword on them. Why not? Do they have... Um, I wish I could get the blades and stuff by melting them down, but that's a mod thing and not actually a thing. Okay. Um, did I, I chuck? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, what is the next place? We haven't gone here in a while, so they might have a fair bit of stuff waiting for us. And I'm not actually going to do any blacksmithing in these towns. I'm just... Because we have the uh, backlog of swords. I'm just going to pop my head in, grab what I can, and move on. And we'll head back to more or less our home base. And then melt everything down. Also, if they declare war on us while we're here... It won't be a problem then if we're just going about our day. We'll be able to just get stuff and leave. And if we have to, like, retreat from the area, we can. And it won't be a big problem. And, yeah, we are at that point where I just don't care. I'm not even paying attention to the numbers here. I'm just buying stuff to make sure we're where we want to be as far as that goes. This place has a lot of money I could soak up, so I'm gonna do that. I probably should have waited, but it's fine. And we'll go to jump errands. Go to Rote. See if there's anyone there. After we go there and then lie back, melt everything down wait for a war to start, yada yada yada. I'm kind of mad that they haven't declared war after I said, oh yeah, no, it's almost set in stone, and the game just has to make me a fucking liar. Because, you know, the game has to make me a, just, just has to make me a liar like that. We have so much, just, stock. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot. We have no smithing stamina, right? Yeah, it's fine. I'll bite the bullet. It's okay. I already checked the tavern, did I not? Yes, I did. And we're going to go to Rote. 
how hard is it to find one person of value? Very hard, apparently. Very hard. Game just stuttered there, freaking me out once again. No one that... You know what? Um... I want Sturgeon... Wanderer... Do we really care who we grit get? Not particularly. A footman wouldn't be a bad idea. He'd be really good. He'd be really good too, but you're cruel and I don't like that. You're perfect. Where are you? He his home is Verchak, but where is this lad? I've never seen him before, so I just don't know. <sighs> yeah, I've never seen him before, so I just don't know. Man. <sighs> like, anyone else? Anyone else? Like, I don't know. Let's just say noble. You? I've never met you before, but that's where he was last seen. It works for them. Or it just hasn't spawned them in or something. Was was there one of these guys that, like, the game actually would tell me where they are? Never seen before. Never seen before. You would be fine. You're here. Okay. I think it would... Her... Yeah, she's like an archer. We'll go with her. So she was last seen in south... Yes, here. South Empire Territory. So we'll go there. And hopefully she's still there. And that will solve the whole I need a sturgeon problem. Which has plagued me for... Four hours? Five hours now? I would say five hours now? Yeah. Solve that problem. Uh, let's have her. Awesome. There you go. Uh, skip the pleasantries, get into my company. Very cheap, excellent. And that gives us another person to do blacksmith stuff. Isn't that fun? Alright. We are going to head back to our home territory. Uh, do the blacksmith stuff. Get her suited up. And just, once again, wait for war to start. <sighs> so close to being done with early game. And it's just, it's just still a problem. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, we want stamina. Because we want stamina. As it keeps doing that graphical glitch where all the trees turn black. Just to freak me out. And remember when paying attention to these numbers was important? <laughs> That was a while ago. Money? Don't care about that. Food? Don't care about that. I mean, morale is... Eh. It's positive. It's not below 50, so that's fine. Influence sucks, but there's nothing I can really do about that. Because there's no war going on. And... Bandits don't give much influence. They give some, but not a whole lot. Especially when you have a big big band of people, because the game goes, oh, well, you didn't try hard. 
So we're not going to give you much influence for that because you weren't trying that hard. That was easy for you to do. For that, you're just hard pressed to get much influence from messing with bandits anyway. They never have the numbers to, to make it interesting enough for the game to be like, yeah, no, we'll give you something for that. Uh, let's smelt this stuff down. Why am I smelting wooden hammers down? I could just buy the hardwood, can I? That's one of the main reasons why we're here. Uh, do you have any? No, you don't. For some reason. You should, but you don't. It's fine. Excellent. <laughs> Level zero smithing. Well. <laughs> Level five smithing. So, obviously has no points in smithing. Probably has very bad athletics. What you gonna do? Or not athletics, but endurance. But no, uh, nothing we can really do about the... can't even melt down all the tribes that we have. We have so many. Um, where's the place here that we want to go here? We just want to pick up hardwood. How you doing, bro? Are you actually doing things or not? I think you're just wasting my money. I want to be surprised if that's the case. Yeah, it looks like he's trying. At least. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, so he's, he's doing something. Good for him. And that did give us some influence, so that's cool. That's another thing. You, you get parties out, and they'll get... Picking stuff up just because he's doing stuff. But they over. For some reason. I don't know why. It's because the game is dumb. And it doesn't know what it's doing. We get another party yet. Yes, we do. So we'll have three parties. That's cool. It doesn't mean much when we can't call them to, to unify into an army, but it's something. It means more people that we have. Um, just wait. <sighs> waiting for war, waiting for war. All this is. Game wasting my time. All because it had to crash. Fun times. Uh, let's see. Make all this into charcoal. Well, I leveled up. That's cool. I will always take levels. Where is this going? Um, I think I said I want pole arm, right? Yeah, I want pole arm. So it'll actually go up, and then. Athletics. I feel like that would be the smart move. Yeah. We'll do that. Because athletics is one of the main things holding me back when it comes to uh, fighting stuff and doing stuff. It's one of the reasons I was hoping that we would get uh, thick into the war stuff this part, because I want to do some sieges with uh, the kingdom, because you get a lot of influence if you do well, and because you're going to be on your feet for most of the uh, siege, yeah, you get a lot of uh, experience towards athletics, go figure. I think that's everything we've planned on melting down. It is. So, I don't think this has changed. Yeah, it's just this, this, and then the, uh, 
like this one. And just make them as big as we can. I got a lot of fine steel out of that though. Look at mine. We're going to be making quite a few of these. Wonderful. Fine steel war sword blade. We finally got another... It's terrible, isn't it? Hey, we finally got a new sword, and it ain't that great. What I want is the uh, Fashion or Falchalin blade. There's a star-pointed one, and then the other one. And those are, like, tier four, three or four. But they just take uh, iron and raw iron. And they're quite good. They have very, very high cutting damage. You can't thrust with them. But they have very high uh, cut damage. And they actually sell for quite a lot. Even though they have, they're have, they made out of poor materials. They, they still sell for a lot. Just because of the damage that they do. Uh, same thing as we just did. Everything as big as it can be. Because... Yeah. Is this... Just... Bear with me. It is not. It is not the, 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 the handle for that. Or pommel, I should say. It's close, but not quite. It looks similar. You do get um, parts specifically for leveling up as well, typically. So we're going to get quite a few parts just for everyone getting decent levels in blacksmithing. Which is cool. I like that. It'd be nice if it was a little easier to get parts from blacksmithing, but what you going to do? What we really need is a blade that uses uh, Thomaskeen steel. We need a blade that uses this. Those are the ones that go for the most, and they go for a outrageous amount. I'm actually going to back out and put that perk one in now, just so the game doesn't screw me over. Yeah, I want her to be able to make charcoal. Always. Always charcoal. Also, this will reload the parts, just in case. So, nothing new there. We have new things there, I think, but nothing too interesting. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Do we know what a... Do we know what a stick is? No. We... <sighs> For a moment, I thought we knew what a stick was, but we do not. Nothing new there. Uh, do we have... Where is... I can't read. There we go. We don't have anything interesting there either. It's all one-handed sword stuff, most likely. Oh well. Okay. New handle, and it's a tier three. Oh well. How much do these go for? Probably quite a bit. Quite a bit. This is going to sound weird, but what we're going to do... I'm just going to do that. Do you have hardwood? You do. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to melt those swords down. Because we don't need the money, and we need the levels. And we're wasting time. So it doesn't matter. So what we can do is we can melt them down after we black... We just make them all. And make them again. And we don't need the money. We want the experience right now. So, this is going to be kind of annoying with how this works, but it shouldn't be too bad. And we'll also unlock plenty of stuff by doing this. Because the amount of experience you get for smelting a weapon is, once again, based on how expensive it is. And these are very expensive, so they'll give 
plenty of experience just from being meltdown. And we'll get most of our resources back. Obviously not all of them, but we will get most of them back. No new blade. Nope. Nope. No. Nothing interesting there. Uh, Two-hand pull arms. Anything interesting there? We got that. That's cool. Got that. We want a glaive head. We get a glaive head, and this is going to be interesting. Still don't know what a stick is for javelins. And that's about it. Okay. Where am I at? Here? He still can't make that. This? Yeah, it's just... Ooh, I really like this handle, but it takes way too much fine steel. It looks very nice. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're just gonna make what we have then. Just desperately waiting for new parts here. All it is. I think one of the best in terms of damage it is. Got level t we have tier five uh, hand like guards, but that's a nothing new there. gonna melt them back down. I'm gonna melt this down. I should probably just melt everything down, but this stuff. Because who cares? I like I'm saving it for experience, yes. But the arrows and stuff is where most of our experience is gonna come from anyway. We have enough steel makers, so I think Curious Melter would probably be better. Because we have plenty of people who can make steel. So having one person with that is not a bad idea. If this was just me playing for the sake of me playing and having fun, I wouldn't be bothered by doing this. But the fact that this is a playthrough, I'm bothered about doing this. It's just because I know, oh, well, there's nothing going on. And yes, me just going on random tangents can be amusing enough, I suppose. I don't feel that it supports just absolutely nothing going on on the screen. Um, we will unlock quite a few things by just using her to smell stuff down, so that's good. Do we know what a stick is? Nope. I'm desperate for knowing what a stick is, because that's going to make us a lot of money. Do we know what a glaive is? We do not. How unfortunate. We don't need the handles. Ooh. Ooh. We finally got a tier 4 pump. Okay. We're getting there. That's cool. Uh, was there anything else in here that we wanted to lock? Absolutely not. Melt it all down. <sighs> it's locked, I know. That's why I locked it. Why do you select it? Just, it shouldn't be on my screen at all, because I don't want to melt it down. That's why I locked it. Once again, guess what? That's something mods fix. <sighs> I hate, I hate that, that, I, I hate that that's just a thing. Is the mods fix that. That is a very annoying problem to have. It's it's almost like it shouldn't be a problem at all. 
Ugh. Disgusting. Okay. And just have her make what she can. So we want that. We want this. We want that one. We want a new we really want that new blade, but what you gonna do? Yeah, no, these are these are coming along. It uses nothing to steal now. Interesting, we're actually getting to that point. Well, that's good, honestly. It, it helps with micromanaging our resources. Out of curiosity, how much are they going for now? We're not going to sell them. Yeah, 18k? We're, eh, we're getting there. You actually have... You know what? You have Highlanders. We'll just buy the Highlanders. That is one thing, because we're sitting here just wasting time. They are restocking as we sit here, so... Like I said, you can almost indefinitely do this. It's kind of crazy. Do you have more hardwood? You do? Yeah. <sighs> like, we could just wander around killing bandits, but that's not going to give us much. My brother's already doing that. That is what he's doing right now, is he's just wandering around swatting bandits. And yeah, I could do that too, and it would speed the process up, but it's not going to speed up the process anywhere near as much as an actual war being declared. Speaking of... Yeah, see, him just derping about is giving us stuff. It's also training his boys. Not too well from the looks of it, but it is. He's trying, at least, I suppose. Uh, we didn't actually make that many, did we? We made a few. I hate how this game tells you how you made things, because it doesn't do it properly. I think it would, but it doesn't. Still need to figure out what a stick is. Eh. Does that handle the thing we unlocked? That thing's disgusting looking. Looks absolutely terrible. Just make what we have been making. This handle. And discard. No new. Yeah, yep. I'm just stuck making these. They're good swords and all, but. Eh. It'd be nice to upgrade after we've been doing this as long as we have been. This is just miserable. She's got to level 100, so that's cool. We're running out of steel now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna re refine like crazy here. Just to get that back up. And we're eating through a lot of our steel now, so we'll just make a bunch of steel. Yep. points. It's another person you can make fine steel. Awesome. Wait again. Hopefully a war starts. We can do something. Almost have level 200 steward. Wow. That's getting up there. I really want that last perk point in storage. It is so, so ridiculously overpowered. It is absurd. Um, just have her smelt this all down. She leveled up. I'm not surprised. 
experience just from doing this. She's already caught up with everyone else. Because this almost gives as much experience as melting as, as smithing the dang things. Uh where is she? Here. Give her another perk point there. Bloop. And yeah, she's gonna be able to Eh, I'd rather have her be a make steel when she gets to that point. Alright. We might know what a stick is. No, we don't. Never mind. We're getting a better selection here, but it's still not what we want. Do we have a couch lance? We have a couch lance. And it is quite long. These don't matter. They just look cool. These matter. Because it's length. We just need a good head. We want the glaive head. I think. I think we want this. Yes, we want this. If we get that, that's gonna be like the weapon that I use for the rest of the game for the most part. Ooh. We got a flax blade. And it takes less steel too. These are nasty. Look at that. Ooh. We actually got one of these. We could actually make a proper flax, I believe. No, we don't have the right pommel. That's close. That's not it, but it's very close to what it is. Ooh. What's the differences between these? This has more damage. It's got longer reach. It's actually lighter. This is our handle. And that's our... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are getting there. This is gonna be worth a lot. I think this is our new build. And it's gonna take Yeah, four three, four. That's it takes a lot of those. But this should be worth a fair bit. I don't wanna dump everything into it yet. I wanna check first. 2k. 20k. 20k. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what we do now. This this is this this is the new build. It puts the like the newest one on the bottom, don't it? It does. I was gauging his level on how much experience it was worth because he didn't level up much, and I'm thinking about it. He probably doesn't have a perk. Like his learning rate is probably high enough to really utilize it. That's probably the case. It's cheap to make, and it's 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 getting us somewhere. We'll get to the point where we want with blacksmithing, which is 75 in a second. Coming right up on it. There it is. There it is. Do we know what a stick is? Still don't know what a stick is. Um. Do we have a glaive head? We do not have a glaive head. Nothing new for the swords, though we don't really need anything new. Honestly, we're at the point where no, it's a pretty good blade. I would like a tier five, but this is still quite good. All right. Now this is one of the most important points we can get. Is this? Everyone else is going to have this. 
because everyone else is going to have this. This is specifically just to sell. And unfortunately, that means as the clan leader in the game, the guy playing the game, I need that perk. Uh, Steelmakers. That's what everyone else is going to do. We're getting there. Also, yeah, it is 75, 275. This is one of the most broken perks in the game. It's really hard to get because it just it takes so long to get there. Well, look at that. It is absurd. You have enough. It, it, you could have such a massive army, and it just doesn't cost anything for you. It is so good. It is one of the best perks in the game. I think leadership is... Yes. So if you had max steward and max leadership, you have like 500 troops. And they don't cost you much of anything. Like the 500 troops... All the maxed out, super, like, all the way up, all maxed out, would cost me as much as what my current unit costs me. And it's literally the size of an army. It is absurd. How much did the two-hander selling for now that we got that perk? 30. They are going for 30k. Do you have any pieces of anything I want? I did want to outfit uh, the companion there, didn't I? I did. I believe she was an archer, was she not? She's an archer. Footman, too. I have to check her stats. I believe she's a, she is... Essentially, she's a... Um, Two-hander footman that has a bow. Yes, that is what her build is. Um, I'm not going to buy her a, a weapon. I'm going to make her one. Because I'm going to give her an axe. So we're going to get the same equipment I have on her. And we can do that. So, what helmets? Well, I'm not going to give her my helmet. We have this helmet. It is this helmet. I could give her my helmet, but that's just too much money. It's not worth it. We have that. Where is... I'm tempted to grab that. But it's not that good. I believe we have... Is, is that what we have? Yes. Scale overcloth. There's that. We got these, and we have scalp boots. I'm going to take that off her, and give her a bow. I'm going to go ahead and just give her the good one, because we have the money to do that. I'm going to give her a long bow, because she's going to be on our feet. And I'll give her two things to stack a bud kit. Yes. If, it, if, if the game would let me. Oh, it did. It went. It went up there. That's stupid. And we pay nothing for that. <laughs> That's how much we pay. We pay nothing for her to be completely outfitted, with the exception of the 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 weapon. But don't worry about that. Actually, now I think about that, I want her bow to be the first thing that she she has equipped. We need to upgrade it. We're going to upgrade his bow. Because we can afford it. What's better? I think it's just... It's the noble bow. They cost the same, but the noble bow is just flat out... Yeah, we're going to give you that. And we pay nothing. That's how much we pay. Do you have any tribes in? Probably not. No. Okay. Yeah. So we maxed out two people with really good stuff, and it cost us absolutely nothing. Because the swords we make are just so good now. Um, I want to see what kind of two-handed axes we can make. I know we can make a good one, but can we make like a really good one? We can. It's fine. It doesn't need to be super good. 
So we'll make that, like, we'll make this, like, immediately. What gives most damage? That's fine. Does making this... It does affect it, but not by much. So we'll just keep it there. Is this better? It might be. It has much better swing speed. It's not as long, though. Not that that really matters. We'll use that one instead. I'm swinging for war, unfortunately. As much as it pains me. Oh, she joined in a tournament, I guess, and, and uh, that leveled her skills up. That's cool. I like that. I'm glad that's a thing. Uh, let's see. Let's make that axe for her. We want the Bardiche head. We want that. This. And that. And blue. Wonderful. Thirteen K axe. Not bad. Where's the other archer? I want to swap his stuff around too. I still haven't made him a two-hander. You know what? There you go. <laughs> you take one of these nasty things that we've been making. Why not? Why not? You've been with me for a while. You deserve a, a, a nice blade. Eventually, everyone's going to have something we've made, but... War Razor is... Let's, let's, let's check two-handed weapons first, shall we? Because it's kind of our current bread and butter. May as well. Okay, nothing new from what I can see. Um, that is a glaive head. It's not a particularly good one if memory serves, but it is a glaive head. I don't think it can be a couch lance. It can. It's there. It's not as strong. Swing speed isn't great either. But the main point is it works for what it needs to do. Mm. I wish I could like have it set to remember that. Bullies load in now. It was just that. I think I'm gonna use that. Uh, it's the only thing. We just wanted the smelting thing for that to, to differ, because we needed like someone for the... I just need some hardwood. Yeah, that's some hardwood, alright. Now then. Where are we? Two-handed? I should... I'm going to. I'm going to wait till we, we finish this round of uh, blacksmithing stuff before I do that. Just to see where we are. Because it's quite possible that we'll be there anyway. Handle 
and the as that. These imperial round handle, that's not what I want. Fine long steels. What's the damage on this? It's nowhere near as good. No, it's not. Like I said, the game really likes its damage. change the length of this. Mm, I actually want it to be short. Do I? No. No. Don't don't cop out now. Go big or go home. Yeah, we want like 50 swing on on damage. Or 150 on damage and like 150 on swing speed. If we could make it longer without absolutely destroying its speed and damage, because the longer they get, sometimes it, it actually lowers the damage that they do. We'll be better off. This doesn't change anything. Okay. Now then, where is it? It's here. Yeah. So we are officially just outright two-handing everything now. That thing is absurd. And it can be used as a couch lance. It can be braced. And it is a two-handed swing is glaive, so that's cool. We're gonna rest up. We're gonna melt everything down to a degree. I'm gonna keep a few on me, and then we're gonna wander around because I want to give that a a test spin. Most definitely, I want I, I want to give that a test drive because glaives are fun. Oh. Uh, Wow, that game took a minute to realize what it was doing there. I want to keep like four on me. So that's like a hundred K or so just sitting there. Uh Still don't know what a stick is, I believe that's the case. Still don't know what a stick is. And we got... What? I like that guard. It's a nice guard, but it's, it's nothing new, really. Too interesting. It sucks. We still haven't got some of the better stuff. But... What are you going to do? I think this handle's just actually better. No, it's not. The moment you go into two-handed, it's like, oh yeah, no, that does a lot more damage. We still haven't gotten the Fauchel in the blades, but it's fine. Are we grabbing anything before we head out? Probably not. We might need food and stuff, but... No, we just, like, need grapes and beer. I'll just do that. Yeah, there we go. Pawn one of these off. Yoink. <laughs> Take almost all their money. <sighs> After all that has been done, let's, let's save the game. That would be smart. We've wasted a lot of time doing that. It'd be a real shame if that rolled back. <sighs> There's still no war happening. 
I need 56 for now just to hit tier 3. This is terrible. <laughs> just waiting for stuff to happen. It's like, eh. Game doesn't know what it's doing. Just head in this direction and hope and pray that we declare war on the Validians or something, or something happens. There we go, here, here, here's a test subject, come here. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's give this, uh, this glaive a test run. I'll show you what I mean by the whole loopoo -loo thing. Because I ain't going to be able to do shit. Granted, looters haven't been able to do shit for a while now, but this is going to be absurd. It just proved my point. Um, Your bow is nowhere near as good as his, is it? Eh, it's close, but they have essentially the same stats, don't they? They do. He's just he's just been in the, the group longer. That's all. So I'm watching this shit. Look how big this fucking thing is. Look at that. Look at that. This is the only problem though, is it takes so long to swing that you really gotta lead it up. Boy. As you can see, like, what the hell are they gonna do? It is so big. What we need to do is we get riding up, and we get riding up, that will give us the ability uh, Dauntless Steed, and that will increase our pain threshold. In other words, it's hyper armor. So we'll be able to just swing even though we're getting a hit. And if we get that, then that, that, that's just we are loo boo. And the reason I'm holding my swings is just because the trees. I'll hit them. You're brave. You actually came at me to attack and you weren't retreating. That's what I'm talking about. That's oh no, it's Lubu. And once Polearm got 12 levels, Jesus. Once Polearm gets up there, you really start to swing it fast. And you don't need the damage. You don't need damage increases. Once you have the Polearm set up, you need speed. It already does so much damage. It already kills people in one shot. You don't need more damage. You just need more speed. It is absurd. And you start doing that, and they can do absolutely nothing about it. And, like I said, you, you, you get your horse riding up, so you just swing through the pain. And you'll get clipped, but you will cleave just right through them. And they will just start to run and just say, fuck this, this guy's too much. And that's how you start really laying into it. The biggest downside is the fact that obviously it's slow, but it's the, the, the pole arms, the glaives are just so goddamn long that they're terrible in sieges just because you hit the walls and stuff. And you just can't swing it because it's just too big. But other than that, like, in field battles, it's king. Because you just kill everybody, and they can't really do much about it. Um, and if you make sure you have a very long glaive, like, this thing's 22, 220? No, this thing's 250. This is damn near a pike. Actually, I think it is a pike. It would be considered one, due to its length in this game. It is longer than some of the pikes. This is a pike pike, and it's its length is 300. So I would assume that's like 3 meters or something, which is... A pike Pikes are very long st st um, pointy sticks. That's why a pike is a pike. It's a very long pointy stick. This thing is almost a pike. And I'm using it on a goddamn horse. That is absurd. 
and just it this this thing's a monster. That's all you need. But they're they're terrible in sieges just because uh, you'll hit like they're slow and you'll hit the walls of the castle and stuff like that. So that's why you carry a two-hander, like a two-handed sword or something. Um, a shield would be wonderful for those circumstances, so, so you can block better and whatnot. But the idea is, is with one swing you're killing them anyway. So the idea is just to swing, and there's not and not have much thought into it. Just swing, and you'll be fine. And I hate this. We're just just desperately hoping war happens, and nothing's happening. What what are the other kingdoms doing? Are they at war with people? I know the empire is at war. Uh, the Validians are at war with the Sturgeons. No, I don't want... <laughs> I, I don't want to leave the... Because if I do... If I do leave these guys... And whoever I'm with declares war on them... Then... I'm going to lose my workshops. <laughs> Damn it. Eh, I'll just mash into bandits until something happens, I guess. This is terrible. <laughs> God damn it. Bandits aren't worth much renown. I could get, we could do quests, I guess. I guess. What are they? Okay. What do you want me to do? Garrison troops sucks. Oh my god. I want troops. No. This place needed something. What did you guys need? Uh, in and out. I don't want to do that one. Let's just go into the inn and play a tavern game. That's terrible. I don't care. I usually just give the guy the money to get the deed. Because who cares? You're wasting my time. <laughs> oh god. Hi. Oh. It's fine. I don't need to take you alive. Have you heard I'm a Lubu now? We've been going for just about two hours now and I still I'm not really feeling it. You're all going to die in the river, ain't you? You are all going to die in the river. Also, I should state the polearm thing. You don't want to do it on foot. <laughs> that is that is a big no. The most you do with this thing... Look how long it is. Jesus, it's so big. <laughs> like other things. But the only thing you want to do on foot with the damn thing is spear bracelet. Because it, that's that was one of the reasons. Like, can it be braced? It can. So, if you got a horseman wanting to be a prick while you're on foot, you can do that. But other than that, no, this thing is you swing the damn thing. Only problem is you swing it really slow. It's not the easiest thing. To be fair, nothing in this game is easy to aim. <laughs> nothing in this game is easy. It's because you auto-correct as you're on the horse for some stupid reason. And it just makes it more of a pain in the ass. And there's nothing I can do about it. And as little as they're hurting me, they are hurting me enough to make my guy go, Oh no, the pain! And then he won't swing. Okay, now we can do the fun stuff. Ah, oh, yeah! Come on, bro! Let's fight! <laughs> I want to swing this way. Uh, dang it. Still not the easiest thing to aim, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is so mean. And I don't care. 
God, look at that. What do you do? Man on a horse with a big stick. It's terrifying. Yeah, there we go. 11. Yep, we got another fucking uh, brick point. Oh, man. <laughs> God. Ruthless. Just ruthless. And the worst part about it is, yeah, we took those knocks, but... The moment we get out of that battle, because we started it, preventive medicine is going to heal us. And the better and faster we get at doing that, the less damage we're going to take. So even once we start bumping, yeah, see, we got most, of, we not most of it, but we got we got six percent back. The the bumping up the difficulty isn't going to matter once all the stat points are where we want anyway. Okay, this I want braced. Because that's going to be my infantry messing up there at the enemy cavalry. I want braced. Yeah. Speaking of increasing the difficulty, when am I doing that? When everything's 150? Not everything, but like riding, athletics, bow. I really want to figure out a, a, a good... How about we do it this way? When I hit character level 20, no matter how it has spread out and how it's... At character level 20, we'll bump it up, and at 25, we'll put on realistic. I think that's reasonable. If I have melee and, like, Bo... Bo might get up there really quick, but if I have, like, the melee stuff and athletics... At like 75, 175, I'll bump it up anyway. But we'll put it this way. If they're not there by level 20, that we'll just do it. Just to, just to, to get it out of the way. Um, what was... I forgot if we even checked what the quest here was. Manual laborers. Yeah, we can do that. That's just going to hunt down bandits anyway, right? How many need? 25. I don't think I'm carrying any prisoners with me. Because I haven't been taking prisoners, because I just don't care at this point. Yeah, I haven't been taking prisoners at all. That's fine. We'll just find some bandits and, and smash the boys into them. Yeah, kind of like exactly that. There we go. Come here. They'll never take us alive. Don't care. We got nine. Okay. Yeah, so we got one renown for that. This is what I'm talking about. This is why we need a war to happen. Because that was a lot of looters. They don't group up that high normally. It's kind of rare. But, because, you know, we have a lot of guys. The game's like, eh, that wasn't really interesting. That wasn't, that wasn't um, a cool enough fight. So you get virtually nothing for it. I'm actually going to send the boys in just because I will kill them. And there we go. We're already almost done with the quest. Sweet. We need another, like, another group of 20 or something and we got it. It's giving us influence, but we, we want renown. Influence is just money. Who cares? cares about money. We have almost half a mil. Who cares? We could buy a castle. Just about. Oh, we got that. That group of looters will do. Hi. Yeah. I'm surprised you 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 deigned to fight us. Is that it? I think that's a that's a we're done. Yep. All oh, she wrote. Where are we? We're heading here. I want to be a warmonger right now so bad, but I can't do it. I mean, I could. Oh, they actually gave up. Good. Good for them. Smart. I'm thinking about it. 
I don't know how much it would benefit me to do it, though. Because what I could do is, right now, I could say, Hey, it's been fun, guys. Um, but I'm done serving you guys. I could stop being a mercenary, and I could just declare war on the Sturgeons right now by myself as in a, a independent party. And I wouldn't be getting mercenary payments, and I'd be severely outgunned. Why I would be able to just route their troops and do that. I think I might just do that. And if I do it that way, I won't lose my workshops. Even though that's not really a huge blow, I could just buy them back. If I really wanted to, it doesn't matter. It's still something that just irritates me. That I'd have to go out of my way to do. Do I want to do it though? That's the question. <laughs> Why can't y'all just start a wow? Oh god, it's miserable. How is this? Where is this? We're like, oh my god, we're. <sighs> I could just destroy caravans, but that would kill relations with notables, and that's annoying. And I could. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to make anyone mad, because <laughs> that 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 will fuck you so much later on. I don't want to join anyone else because I don't want to lose my land, like the the workshops. Because while they don't give me a lot of money, they 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 are helping bleed me of all of my resources. <sighs> Why can't y'all just fight? Why? Why did? Why do we have to be at peace with everybody? I'm surprised they're they're tolerating it as long as they're because they're paying everyone. I think like everyone that they've been at war. With. Yeah, no, they're they're they are paying everyone. They're not paying a lot, but they are paying everyone. There's no war support. The only one is Western Empire. They are just so happy to be at peace right now. God damn it. <laughs> the world being at peace it just makes the world boring for me. Oh, God, I hate it. Hey, that's a lot of looters. Let's go. I'm not going to send the troops. I, I want to do something. I actually want to play the game. Believe it or not. Ugh. It's so terrible. It's just... It's just... <sighs> I know I'm complaining a lot, but damn it, come on. You gotta feel me on this, right? You just, when you want to just do something in a game and you can't... Just because the game wants to play or be a prick for whatever god dang reason. Ooh, God! God! Oh, I love this thing. What do you do? I don't even have to go fast. That's the worst part. so big. And big stick energy. Big stick energy is no fucking joke, let me tell you. I'm just chilling with boys. Well, 
Look at all those axes and shit just going to them. I gotta get better at these, uh, this ticking. Enemies flee. Where are there? Someone got way biased or something like that? I know I could just leave him go, let him go, but I want to see where he is. If I can find him. There he is. There you are. Hello, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> I could've let him go. I could've. That's level 100 and bow. Well, there is that. I think that's, um, Sagittarius? No. No, that's, that's riding that I'm thinking of. It's a good one. Oh, no, I, I, I was... It's not Sagittarius, it's... But, yes, it is Mounted Archery. Yes, yeah, Sagittarius is, is for riding. So, that decreases aiming penalty, and that decreases... It. So, we're going to get to the point now where the bow on horse is not much different than the bow on foot. I think these aren't that great. Uh, governor traits are worthless on the main character, and I hate it. On the clan leader, it's pointless. And they're just for your companions and shit. Yeah, none of these. These are both whatever. Forced labor is the like this. I guess is if you use mercenaries a lot, they're too expensive. If you ask me, I mean that's good, but forced labor is the one that you want, I believe, because it, it'll actually like affect you. How you doing, bro? Stuffing things? Yeah, me too. Just waiting for something interesting to happen. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so mad. This is just because the gang had to crash. This is, they, 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 the, war, the Validians were like, well, fuck them. And we got to just get into fights and stuff. And do stuff, but... Not anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't get to have fun now. <laughs> God damn it. This has been miserable. Last time, like, uh, part five, when it was a long part, when it, when it was one of our, our, our ten or zero special, like, it was, or our five or zero special, like, I guess every five parts is planning on making a long episode just so we actually get somewhere in this goddamn game. And last time, I didn't feel this at all. I didn't feel it at all. It was like, oh man, I'm having so much fun. We're just doing this and I'm having a great time. This, this hurts me so much. It has been so painful. It's just because there's nothing to do. Because there's just nothing to do. And we're just waiting on the game to allow us to do things and it's just it just has been miserable <laughs> I, I like I just want to progress but there are all these stipulations saying why I can't I'm really thinking of just breaking off and messing with the sturgeons as an is 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 an independent I'm gonna go here. I want to see how many people are here. I want to see h how well garrisoned that castle is. It's probably quite well garrisoned, and that's a problem because that's a decent foothold. The other one's better, but it's a decent one. How many defenders? Three hundred. To be fair, a lot of that's militia. 
and I said way, way, way back, um, in like part one, militia isn't that good. Militia's like tier two or something. Like I think we could check this way. Yes. Yeah. So here's militia. Can we? I don't know. It's not what I want. Ah, uh, screw it. We can do it this way. Can we... We'll just do this to make it better. I think we can... See. Yeah, here we go. Militia. Militia are tier 2, and I think veterans are tier 3. Yeah. So, militia are tier 2, tier 3. So tier fours, fives, six will tear through them. They're not that strong compared to, um, like I said, uh, normal troops. Typically, that you'd have garrison. It didn't have that many garrison. It had twenty garrison, which isn't much. What castle I really want is this one because it is the foothold into their territory if you're going to attack from the uh, west. Yeah, see, that ga that is a strong garrison. That is a fairly decent garrison. That's a hundred troops. Like, so that, that garrison is basically my army. It's not as obviously well maintained to the autistic level as mine is, but it is essentially like a hundred of these guys just wandering around. There's actually not that many. How do we do this? Are they at war with anyone? I think the, the Mongolians are messing with them. They're not. The Validians are. For some odd... See, when, when these two declare war on each other, it makes no sense, because they really have no... Like, the Celts are between them, so there's... there's it, you, you'd have to go through them either way. So I don't understand when, when they, they... They declare war at stupid intervals, and I don't know why. It's really dumb. There are these just wrecking their shit. Yeah, security's terrible. The loyalty keeps going down. What's the other place looking like? No, oh, I want to click on the other thing. There we go. Because <clears throat> if loyalty... If the security stays terrible long enough, and because of these hideouts, it is... If security stays low enough, loyalty will continue to drop. And if loyalty drops enough, the people will incite a rebellion. They're actually working on this. What's the garrison looking like here? Because this is the absolute back line. It has a very strong garrison, too. So, if we were to screw with the Sturgeons... This castle's our initial go-to. As a weak garrison. <clears throat> Though we only have 100 troops, and it's still 300. And you can't really retreat too well from siege. And because we don't have any land, we don't have a garrison to fall back on. This is what I hate with, with about moving out on your own. Um, they really don't cut you any breaks. You, you, you have to go just so about it. <clears throat> yeah, we could... Oh, that garrison bumped up. I didn't 
realize it was 77. I thought it was 22. I don't I don't know why I misread that. It's still the weakest garrison that we've seen for a castle, but it's not great. It's not great at all. Uh, man. How do I want to play this? <laughs> I want something to happen, but relying on the, the NPCs to do it is the biggest pain in the ass. And they don't want to go to war, because they don't want to go to war. <clears throat> Am I going to bite the bullet? I should just bite the bullet. I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to head to the Validian land. And the moment I see one of their guys, I'm going to ask for them to make me... I'm going the wrong way, actually. I should go this way. This is the one place that they, they, they share a border with the Sturgeons is these two castles that are in the middle of goddamn nowhere for some reason or other. It's because we didn't want to give it to the Celts or something. I don't know. They'll never take us alive. It's the, the part... It's, I don't care about that, my dude. <clears throat> Your proposal is acceptable. <laughs> like, whatever. All right. Oh boy. I could speed these battles up by telling my guys to do what they need to do to the gate, but uh, we're just farming for experience anyway. Woo! Where is your head at? No, I'm just going too fast. He swings too slow. It's fine. Archer bullets never hurt anybody. Remember a while back, I was like, oh no, we'll, I'll fight entire battles by myself. There you go. <laughs> I told you. I told you it would happen. I don't even need to aim, just get put in the general direction of this big body of people. I'll do it. Things are happening, it's fine. Getting much better with the bow on the horseback now, as I miss by just a bit. Lip. Oh. Overcompensated too much, and these guys are pissing me off. Just these two? It's just these two. I wanted to make my last arrow count. Oh, four of them. Whatever. Two, four, who cares? Five. <laughs> okay, there's there's a lot more of them than I thought. Still running away. It's fine. Wee! Whoo! Dead Jim. Yeah, no. Pole arm is is starting to fade out now, or, or, or slow down because not enough focus points, not enough learning experience. I hate that system, honestly. I wish it was just a flat rate throughout the entire thing. I really do. Just so you could just, just play the game. But you gotta sit there and you gotta play with the points and you gotta grind. It should just be, a, if it was just a flat rate, 
I'd be fine with it. You just play the game. If you just could just play the game, but no. It's got to be this numbers game. And I like numbers games a lot. And RPGs and builds and all that good stuff. This one is just a pain in the ass. Because it's just such a huge time sink. And it doesn't matter anyway, because it's easy enough to break. Uh, we wanted to put points in athletics. Yeah. Just because we need athletics. I can't believe I'm actually going to go to war. Or, not go to war, but side with the Palidians. <sighs> They're better... There you are. That's one of them. There we go. You'll do. You're going to outrun me, aren't you? <laughs> you go into the dumb castle. <laughs> God damn it. I'll be able to talk to him while I'm in there, right? He'll probably tell me to fuck off, but... It's fine. Leave Kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. They, they, they're not going to be mad. I'm a mercenary. Uh, request a meeting. I'm so mad. This is what we have to do to get somewhere. Uh... Oh, I thought you were the other guy. I'm sorry. I misread your name. Uh. Yes. Excellent. Let's go to war. <laughs> Finally. I should have done that so much longer. Like, a lot longer ago, but... I was just holding out for the maybe watching the Clare War on the Validians right now. It's just to piss me off. How many people do you have? I know I know he had like 140, but 140 what? That's very important. The distinction of what? It's a lot of infantry. Not much anything else. It is a lot of infantry, but not much of anything else. I think I can do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. That's why he's running. Hi, Prince. You should be the one to surrender. Ooh, parlay's over. Big boy. Remember what I told you before, kids? What's really, really important in war. Specifically medieval war. I think it was bows. That's what's important. He has a lot of infantry. He has a lot of infantry. He does not have the bows. Also, it's cutting our numbers down because there's too many people in the field. So that's his army right there. I'm going to play this smart. Weird, I know. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to use this hill. Or mountain, I should say, rather, to our advantage. So, what I want to do... That's not loose. That's all sorts of bunched up. Oh, there's a stupid... Whatever. Uh, can I make them face this way? I know I can, but what's the button? It's F7. No. I want that. Is 
Line, I think line would be preferable. I want them to face this direction. No. Yes. Have them a shield wall. Get them a little closer. I want the archers to be able to fall back into them. So the archers are going to act as a line of sk uh, skirmish line. I believe... I hate, the, I hate the camera in this. I just want to zoom in and... Yeah, okay. There we go. Is this a clean shot? Also, they invert... The, 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 the wheel is inverted. I hate it. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine there. So the archers are going to act as a scrimmage line. When they're fully advanced, I'm going to pull the archers back, move the infantry forward, and then tell boys to go. What we got on them is bows. So we are going to make absolute use of our bows and our cavalry. So what I want cavalry! to do... I wish I could tell them to defend the boys, but they can't. We're going to ignore that for now. I'm going to show these what a freaking horseman is. <laughs> because I can pest through the hell out of these guys. Way better than they can mess with me. how long this thing is, I can actually catch up on them with it and swing properly. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I can easily screw with their cavalry compared to them messing with me. told you? Oh no, it's Lupu. It's time to do that. The game cannot handle it that well, but that's what you do. Just ride the wave of the boys. And chop them down as you go. I keep getting blocked by my own boys here. <laughs> I keep hitting my own boys with that. Oh, we are just pushing their shit in. Yeah. That was, that was quite effective. We lost two boys. We lost two Oath Sworn. We lost two of the easiest troops for us to get back. 
That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> we, we need a war. I don't like the prince um, of the Sturgeons. I think he's an asshole. So, uh, you're a prisoner. I captured the king. <laughs> it's just like that. I could chop his head off right now. I won't. But I could. A no-name mercenary just wrecked your shit. Pushed your shit in. Just because you don't know how to build your troops. Now, we're going to just give him to his castle and enjoy our life. Replace those two Oathsworn and go on about our day. Ah, that was good. I enjoyed that. Uh, go dungeon. Donate. How much is he worth? He's probably worth a lot. Oh, he's worth a lot. Excellent. Yeah, here's here here is their grand prince. Enjoy that. Um, I just grab two troops. What are you guys doing? You're just derping about for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, they haven't fought. They haven't been fighting any wars, so they probably have quite a few troops just around. So we're going to see if we can actually just pick up two Orthsworn right from the gate. We may as well. Pick fighter. That's good enough. That's right near what we want anyway. Um, it shouldn't take too many resources. We have animals. I don't want animals. I'm gonna kill them for food. They take up too much. They take up um, herd space. I don't want that. Let's see. Where is uh, uh, arrows? We'll take care. We'll use these first. They shouldn't need that much experience. Yeah. I think that was it. That's it. Yes. There we go. There we go. And now they're Oath Sworn. I didn't even need to try. No, no fuss, no muss. Done. That's all you need. I could grab four more footmen. Five archers. And like five... I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait till tier three, which isn't going to be that long. Yeah, that one battle was such a huge jump. It, we, we really should have just gone to war. Sided with somebody else and gone to war. Elsewhere, but I, I was really just dragging my feet and just, I don't want to buy my goddamn workshops again, okay? I just don't. I just don't want to buy my workshops again. I'm not going to bother fighting you. Uh, I'm just on the boys. That's fine. Um, don't need you as prisoners. I will take your stuff, though. I need to, to pawn off those guys. Let me go do that. Go to the tavern because they're slowing me down. Not by much, but they they, they are slowing me down. Um, bro, are you raiding? He it asshole. Just it's just a dick. Like yeah, raiding. He is. Like it's a valid strategy. You starve out the castle. But it's just killing innocent people for the sake of killing innocent people. You, you feel like dealing with this army, bro? bro? Yeah. 
whose mistake was that? It's a lot of infantry. Not many of its recruits. They don't have much range, though. Mm. Do I save my dumbass brother? I don't want to save my dumbass brother. It's a lot of infantry. He's almost all infantry. Let's do it. I shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't. I really, really shouldn't. But we are on par with them. I really shouldn't do this. But if I do it, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so, hey. Let's go for it. Why not? They outnumber us by like 50%. It, it, it's 300 versus 200. We said we were going to go to war. Let's go to war. Now, where is my brother? I don't know where he is. This is planes. Yes. I don't like it. I don't like the layout is a little iffy on my for me. Here's what we're gonna do. Onward! How do I really, really want to do this? So I don't want to split up my guys too much, but I might just have to, you know what I mean? What I'm thinking of doing is splitting the infantry to cover this side and this side, but that feels too much of a gamble. Because I don't think they can clear this. So I think if I like, I put the infantry there and the infantry there. No, you know what? Right? Yeah. Infantry! Forward. And we use this rock here as like a wall, right? I can't control what my dumbass brother is going to do, but I feel like this would help us out that way. Archers, move out! Because we don't have enough boys to make, like, a really long, big, girthy shield wall. But, can I get them to... Face that way! Nope. Look that way! Face that way! Yes. I want horses oh, here. Forward. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of strategy for not much of anything, but shut up. Let me have my moment. I can't control what my brother does. He's going to do stupid shit. I have them way up here. Is this enough of a dip? No, not really. I wish they were a little bit highly higher elevated than the shield wall. So they could shoot over them better, but... I feel like this is going to just get in their damn way, too. But they can keep them busy here, you know? Yeah, we'll just set it like this, and we'll... We'll... Let come what may. 
I'm going to run interference on their cavalry. Because I can do some beautiful shit to their cavalry now. One damage. Not enough. Too slow. Yeah, they have a really good shield wall formation. They always do. These Vikings, man. They they know what to do when they go into shield wall. Let that be known. This is really stupid, but it does work. I just wish I was faster at swinging this stupid thing. We're doing really good on that push up there. The slightest tap. Oh. They're running. There comes most of their guys. actually got Imperial Horseman in there. That's interesting. I know it looks like I'm kind of just wandering around doing all what the fuck ever, but it, it gets kind of difficult to not do that. Yeah, we're really taking it to him, though. Brother getting in the way, actively, of me doing this. 
want air runs. That's bad. Gotta give it to the archers. Gotta give it to the archers. What a lad. Who's left? <laughs> the game's been... The, 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 this battle is won, but... There's still survivors. They got Mongolians. Who's left? Two horsemen. Hey, I want as much experience as I can get, okay? Where are you guys going? What are you doing? I hate this stupid let's cheer shit. Okay, they got away. Okay. Well, we definitely took casualties from that. But we fucked them up. <laughs> uh, my brother didn't do a goddamn thing. So... We're going to have to lick our wounds a bit, but that was a hell of a fight. And even if realistic damage was on, I would have still been up. We would have lost that, most likely, because uh, these numbers wouldn't be as good as they are. But goddamn, look at that. That is beautiful. You fucking owe me, bro. You owe me so hard. I'm I'm actually quite happy with how that turned out. <sighs> yeah, saved your ass again, my dude. Yeah, you better really like me for that. That was a hell of a freaking comeback, huh? I want the charm, and I would like the relationship. It will help later in the line, down the line. Oh, please don't crash. <laughs> A little stutter. I was like, please don't crash. Please, 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 and go on with our day. <laughs> Please let that stick. Because I think that's tier 3. I think. That was really good. We did really good there. I'm going to compulsively save the game. <laughs> because we did really good there. And I don't want to lose that. Like, yes, yes, a good portion of that is, is, is difficulty settings. 
Yes. But come on. That 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 was still still a fun battle. Still still a good thing. That that, that I enjoyed it. I did I feel like I did well. We are tier three. Damn right we are. Tier four was a wish in a dream. Nine hundred. Nine hundred renown to be tier three or tier four. That was a yeah, that wasn't happening anytime soon. Um, we can have almost 150 men. We are almost there. What would that be? That'd be. We can do 50 50 25. We can't do 60 60 30. We would have to be able to get uh, 12 more soldiers for that. We're going to do 50 50 25. It's probably going to take up the remaining amount of time we have. That and healing up because we are fucked up. But that was good. That was, that was really good. You would have think we got more experience for that, but. Uh, learning rate is a very fun system. Yeah, because these don't have focus points, they they aren't gonna get much of anything. Bow quite a fair bit, so that's cool. Uh, you owe me so hard, bro. It's not even funny. Luckily, it'll be pretty easy to get the numbers of this all done. Just so. Okay, so that's a good chunk of what we need. So, we need 18, 12. So, now we need 12 and 11. You can just head back up here and lick our wounds. Okay. 10 and 11. Track in my head. Is it one more melee? One more melee. They're all like close. They're all their tier fours, but they're not the tier four that we want. Okay. I got a leadership point finally. We're good on numbers right now. Uh, 11, 12, 15, yes. And that is 17, 18. Yes. Yes. I can't math. Why am I having such trouble mathing right now? Yes, that's correct. And then we need the six horsemen. 
this. At the moment, my, my, I, I have a brain fart, and the numbers don't make sense to me. Is 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 when things concern me. Okay. We have some random dumb stuff we want. We don't want in our inventory, so we're gonna just get that out now. Uh, like the sheep and cows and stuff that they feel like always having. I don't know why. Just carry the food. I don't know why they they get the animals, but they do. Um, and now we can just do this. Oh uh, yeah, this is where, like I said, it gets very easy to just recruit a bunch of guys, and all of a sudden they're all the way up. Look at that the amount of experience. It's just where we just because we've been sitting on it, just because it's been sitting here, um, we can just easily, without even thinking about it, just give them so much experience. We're gonna take it. Yeah, there it is. There we go. It shouldn't be everyone, but it should be close. Because this game's dirty and can't possibly calculate everything correctly. Because it can't possibly calculate everything correctly. Because this game is good. There we go. And that might be everyone now? Yes, okay. So we'll do that. So there, those are those. Those are already done cooking. And we'll do that. So those are those. Yes. And go through the ones that aren't locked for the time being. Okay. Uh, we'll just do this, even though those other ones aren't done, but oh well, it's fine. They will catch up soon enough. Okay. We got a bunch of this stuff to go through. Yeah, we're. <laughs> yep. Just one. Okay. Um, I'll actually make sure those are finished. The uh, fens are going to be the hardest to do. Just because they're going to make up a good bulk of our army. And because they go up to tier 6, they take a lot of experience to get all the way up there. But they're, they're going to be almost completely done. I actually want to melt these down because there's a lot of steel there. There's also some of the, the, the really high-end steel there. Um, was there any... I'll just go ahead and lock these, but any special... Or... No, we didn't get anything like remotely interesting in that. Uh, and now we'll do arrows. Way overboard. Clicked way too many times. I think it was yeah, it was just that perfectly. So that's nice. Do that. They're all fens. Okay. And... This is going to take a lot of them. But... Oh well. It might take all the arrows we have. Yeah, it is. It's going to take all the arrows we have. This is why you just stockpile them and you just sit on them. It's because elites do take an absurd amount of experience. There we go. There we go. Boom. 50-50. Already done. I didn't even need to try. Um, how are we looking in the stuff that we want to buy? You have a lot of Highlander daggers. And you have a good amount of arrows, and you have a good amount of tribesmen. We do need to rest. 
we're going to rest up. And we'll do some blacksmithing here. Actually, we can do blacksmithing right now. Right. Okay, cool. So that, that speeds this up even more. So we'll buy that. Just because we want to stay ahead of the curve. That's all it is. We'll buy the dragon trap ones. Why not? There's a bunch of them. Yeah. We're spending a lot, but we're going to get it all back in half a second. We only need to make three. Uh, let's melt these down first. Where is this? I need this blade so bad. <laughs> Iron skim scimitar blade. I got a skimmy blade. I didn't get the blade it was made out of, but oh well. I got a skimmy blade. No, I don't want to smelt that down. That's why it's locked. Maybe it shouldn't be on the menu if it's locked. That's a thought. Okay. What is... Well, what unlocked, game? Do you feel like telling me? No. I'm not privy to that information. We want this. Uh, that... Southern grip and that pop one. Okay, make these. War scythe head. That's an interesting one. Okay, let's just sell those. make back all the money that we spent and some. Okay. Now we just need to grab the horse. And that's probably going to be it for now. Once we get those boys. Okay, so very far, far shot of getting uh, tier 4 like I wanted. Oh well. I, I kind of said it would probably be it was gonna be improbable. I feel like I was like, eh, it's probably not gonna happen at the beginning of this. But hey, we 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 did some cool stuff. At least we fought two uphill battles, so there was that. We routed an army. It's just me and my bro, so you know that's cool. That happened. Let's see two. Need four more. Grab these boys, head back to Sun On or something, and just chill. Or get head go to Chara's. Yeah, that's cool. That's done. You know what? We're we're working with the Validians right now, why not? You usually want to wait up in a place that you're allied to. Just so um, you don't have any issues, like if you're waiting and all of a sudden, oh, yeah, they're at war now, so they're gonna just get attacked. We we are point off from that. I think we're gonna wait. It, it, like we're gonna level up these boys, and we can just do that real quick with uh, javelins and stuff, because they're still low level. So, and there's only a few of them. We only got seven. I think it was. No, it was six. We got six. Yeah, it's only six of them. So they won't take as much experience as the um, Fens did. They won't take anywhere near as much. They'll still take quite a bit, but it's not going to be as bad. We should have everything we need for it. We may not, but we should. This is one of those. Yes. See how much faster this is? <laughs> it's obs like it, it, it. It's just getting the first group going. 
it's just getting the first initial push, and then you're fine. If you get your steward up, anyway. You, you really desperately need to get that perk. If you don't have it, you feel it, but... The moment you get it, you're, you're, you're dandy. Okay, and a little bit more. or something like that. No, oh, no, it was 10. That, I believe, is it right on the money. Yes, it is. Okay. So, this is, this is a party. Um, this is respectable. It was pretty good before, but now it is, this is, this is a core. Um, this can get shit done. Uh, maybe he would want more cavalry, but like, like if you did fifty, 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 like that would be good. That I, 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 that would be sufficient, and there would be no problem with that. But I just prefer the the the, the uh, you have high higher infantry and higher uh, uh, archer count compared to cavalry. Instead of relying too heavily on it, but yeah, no, this is this is shaping up. We we can we can do stuff. We can get shit done. Um, I was thinking of of giving the the sturgeon woman some boys. How many do you have? You have sixteen. You know what? We're gonna do this. I understand. And we are going to make another party. Uh, I want you. Because we have an archer already with us. He actually has really good skill. You know what? We'll let him do it. There we go. And we have a new party. And we'll just let him be his own thing. And have her lead the archers in his steed. That works perfectly well for me. I am going to let the game... I'm just going to rest and wait till the game um, gives me that through point. And that's it. And then we're done for the day. Honestly, should come now or the. Ne you know, I feel terrible just wasting all the time. Let's actually do blacksmithing, or at least maintain some stuff. We're not melting anything down. We can do some refining. That wouldn't hurt us. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It just feels like an absolute waste to sit here as it goes by and not using it. So, we'll use the time. Like, I just cannot, in good conscience, be like, eh, nah, it's fine, we'll just completely ignore it. Nah. It's best to actually do something with it. Uh, it's fine. It'll, it'll be really quick. Who cares? If you're this far into it, you're already... You know. You know who I am. You know what I do. Northern Round Pommel, that's cool. Anything else interesting? No. Still don't know what a stick is. Oh well. Now those are just sitting in the inventory. They should give us to us. Um, when when the troops get paid, I believe that's when uh, the steward experience gets divvied out. Or something near it, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe it's just it takes that long now for me to get the experience. No, 
That's why it's... <laughs> that's why it's locked, game. Why are you like this? That was a tier 5. It didn't show it, because the game's good, but that was a tier 5. We have a tier 5 blade. Well then. It was a southern grip. Ooh, I really like that pommel. I really like this pommel. Which one's better? Not that one. I believe that's overall better. We have a tier 5 blade. It's a big deal. Can't... She can't. We can afford a little bit more. Well then, we're getting there. I'm just pine javelin trap. So close to being so close. How much does this go for? It's about the same. It's a little bit more. But it's very balanced. Huh. Man, it's worth so much experience. Oh, that's. that is 200. It is worth so much experience. As the main thing is that this blade is worth a lot just to make it. It's just so much experience just to, just just to make the dang thing. Nothing new. So we'll just use the the, the main design that we had set up last time. because it's worth so much experience they get more levels and they unlock more things and it just continues to snowball here it's like every time we touch it we're, we're unlock something unlock something unlock something It might it, it might have just derped up because it likes to do that. What was the war scythe had is this thing? Eh. Eh. You can't thrust with it at all. It doesn't do any damage. It's not great. Okay, nothing really new there, but. Still, we're making a tier 5, so it's worth a lot of experience. We got 200 blacksmith. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we can make masterwork weapons. That's fun. Those are cool. And these, these things are 30. Yeah, they're worth quite a bit. Do we want to pick up any arrows and stuff? We do. There are plenty of them. There's plenty of bolts too. Wow, look at that. 
Okay, well that was definitely worth it. Yeah, there you go. Just wait for that steward level. Should give it to me today in game. It should. It may not. You punk. How low is the learning rate? No, the learning rate's good. It's just it's just It's just being a punk. I don't know why. <sighs> the game doesn't want me to leave yet or something. Please don't. Whatever, it's fine. I'll just wander around. I forgot where we're heading up to next. And the moment it gives it to me, I'll just be done and move on. And then and, and we'll call it. I'm still really happy about that, that army battle. That went quite well. And we've already fully recovered from it. That's a lot. Huh. I'll just split up for some reason, aren't I? Alrighty then. There it is. There it is. Okay. And the forced labor is the best one. Uh, the next one's pretty good. Because... Increased capari ca uh, capacity of your pack animals is sick. Also, this makes like buying a bunch of mules really cheap, and you can sell them for a whole bunch, and that's how you get the really high trade levels, is by doing that. Um, these are both good, but they're not as good as this, and we're 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 not too far off from getting that. Um, what our main priority is going to be is athletics. That's why I want to join in some sieges. Get that going. We can join in some sieges. Uh, try to get athletics to 100. I'll be happy. The moment I'm level t uh, 20, regardless of how my stats look, I'm going to bump difficulty up. Because we're getting to the point where I'm just crushing and they can't do anything about it. And... Why well, I don't care about the game um, having a fair playing field with me, it's not interesting if I just obliterate everything without even thinking about it. Like, why play the game at that point? It's going to be a minute for Tier 4. It's going to be a thing, so we're going to have to rely on Wars to really get the Renown up. Um, there is almost no reason for them to give up this war at all because they're not really fighting each other um, because they're so far apart my actions are basically what's caused this current <laughs> situation honestly so but yeah if you stayed here this entire time I don't know why but thank you, and I will see you next time.